Hey friends, I am finally back after many, many months with another video for my Heart of Rachel series. I get asked all the time about my experience as an only child, so today I thought I would just kind of sit down and share my story with you. Growing up, being an only child was something I really never thought too much about and now that I'm a mom myself I really see that there's this like stigma attached to being an only child at least in the minds of mothers or fathers or aunts or uncles or like friends I there this topic just comes up all the time and people seem to be like afraid of their child being an only child and I really just can't grasp that. We seem to have this really bad stereotype attached to us that if you're an only child you're gonna grow up like socially stunted and a complete spoiled brat and just like a nightmare later in life and I just don't find that to be true. My experience as an only child was a really good one. I am a total people person and I just need to have other people around me at all times and if I don't have other people around I definitely have an audiobook or a podcast or the TV on so that I don't feel so alone and maybe that stems from being an only child but I think that's really just more my personality however growing up I was never like so depressed that I didn't have siblings I always had friends I had neighborhood kids I had cousins in abundance so I don't feel like I really missed out on building those childhood memories of playing with other kids on top of that it allowed me to develop this really really close relationship with my parents. My parents have always been my best friends and yes we've had like our ups and downs you know teenage years I think are hard on every child and their parents in that relationship but generally I have always always been close with them and I think part of that is because growing up they were who I had. We also spent a lot of time with my mom's family and I didn't have a cousin in that family until I was in high school. So for a lot of time, it was me and the adults. I think that really helped me to mature a lot faster. There was a higher expectation. You know, I, I always grew up going out to eat, going to nice restaurants, and there was never this, you're allowed to be a kid and misbehave just because you're a child. I was with adults and I was expected to behave as such. That's not to say I didn't have some sort of childhood. Of course I did, but being around adults all the time, it just kind of helps you to mature that much faster. And that's something that I have seen consistent in most only children that I've met. You also get really good at playing by yourself. I had imaginary friends growing up. I was totally in a world of make-believe most of the time in my play when I was by myself. And I think that was great. I think it helped develop my imagination and just my ability to be alone. As an only child, I would say that I was spoiled in that I had a lot of things. I got a lot of things from my parents, from my family, but it was never this expectation that I just somehow automatically deserved all of these things, if that makes sense. I think my parents did a really good job of instilling in me a really good work ethic and not the sense of entitlement that I think most people associate with only children, whether that's deserved or not. The only time I can really ever remember wishing I had siblings was when we were on vacations. I would always wish that I had another kid to play with or, you know, entertain me when we took long road trips to go see family. That was really the only time I can ever look back and remember wishing I had another kid that was just kind of attached to the family. The other downside, I think, to being an only child is that I never really grew up and developed that thick skin for teasing I guess would be the right word. My dad tried. <laughs> He's one of seven so he really grew up where you just kind of had to talk if you wanted to be heard and you got teased a lot so he kind of tried to instill that in me but being the dad and not a sibling it was a little bit different and that's something Kyle brings up a lot. He's like you really just need to like toughen up. You needed a sibling to fight with and so I guess that's some sort of downside but it's not like it's really greatly hindered me in my adult life. It's more or just something that then when I get teased by Kyle or my parents you know which we all kind of sling back and forth at each other I don't um, I don't have that thick skin I can sometimes tend to take that stuff kind of like quite personally which isn't really 
it's silly since I know that they love me and I know that they're just joking, but I think that's something that could have developed better had I had siblings. As you can see overall, I really had a great experience being an only child. I really don't look back and wish that anything had been different in my life. I had a wonderful childhood. I had lots of great memories of being a kid, but I also have lots of great memories of getting to be more grown up and do more adult things because I was constantly surrounded by adults and in that type of environment. That being said, if it's God's will, we would like to have other children. And that's not because I feel like I'm doing Grace some disservice by not having children. I just, it's something I've always wanted. It's something Kyle has always wanted. And I do think it would be a blessing for Grace to grow up with siblings. I think it would be a great privilege to watch Grace with other children, to have other children, and just get to experience that dynamic. So while other moms are really afraid of their kids being an only child, I'm actually quite worried the other way. I can't quite fathom how it will be to have a second baby. I just really have no concept of that. You know, with my parents, besides their very strong marriage and love for each other, I was their whole world. So to imagine having to share my love with someone other than Grace is is really hard and, and something I can't quite wrap my head around. Although I've had a lot of moms of multiple children tell me that it's just something that kind of happens. Once your second child is here, your heart just doubles in size and allows for that extra love. So I am trusting in that and obviously I know that this is something that many people do and clearly it's not an issue. Like I said, for me as an only child, it's just a little bit something weird to think about. I hope that I answered all of your questions or touched on the topics you were curious about when you ask me about my experience. And I do want moms to know that if for some reason you only have one child, you are not doing them a disservice. You will have a very special relationship with that one kid and you know they will grow up fulfilled and happy be in just a different way, in a different environment than if they would have had siblings. But you are in no way doing them some sort of disservice if you can't have other kids or if you don't want other kids. That is okay. I hope you all have enjoyed this heart to heart video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Leave a comment down below if you have other topics like this that you would like me to discuss or touch on and I would be happy to do so. I hope you guys have an amazing day and I will see you guys again next time. Thanks so much for watching. Bye! Hey friends, it's March and y'all know what that means. It's time for my February haul and favorites. Before we get started, I wanted to remind y'all that I am going to be at BeautyCon Dallas this 